about to share with you three mindset hacks that transform your mindset in seconds. People always say, just be yourself, which might be perfect if you're going on a date, unless you're one of those fake profiles of me out there. But what if you're about to do something that demands you go beyond what you believe you're capable of? Something that is completely outside of your comfort zone. During my military career, I was in countless situations like that. From special forces selection to firefights in Afghanistan. In life, the same happened. Working for a consultancy in London with zero experience or starting a business from scratch. When you're under pressure to perform, in that moment, it's on you to find a way of becoming who you need to be to get the result you want. Here's hack number one to do this. When you feel overwhelmed by a challenge, you second guess your decisions become paralyzed by self-doubt. And the more you look inside yourself for answers, the worse it gets. You create a self-fulfilling prophecy. You can break out of this spiral by taking yourself out of the equation. Ask yourself, what would Batman do? I'm serious, this is a genuine study published in 2015. It doesn't have to be Batman, but it needs to be someone who would act in the ideal way in the situation you are facing. By doing this, you flip the script and create distance from your normal perspective, hence why it's called self-distancing. And it works. I use it on a regular basis. Like everyone, I have times when I have zero motivation to train. So I ask myself, what would Miko do? Miko Salo is one of the original CrossFit legends. What sets him apart for me is his stoic approach, Sisu mindset and dedication to training. No fuss, no excuses, no bullshit. He just gets the job done. In my moment of indecision, asking what would Miko do? It pushes me towards the right action by embodying a person that represents my ideal self. Hack number two takes self-distancing a step further. It's a skill used by individuals at the very top of their game to perform at their best. Instead of asking what another person would do, you create a completely new character, one that has purpose-built for the challenge you're facing. Dwayne Johnson has two faces, day-to-day -day Dwayne, quiet, humble, and courteous, and Dwayne the Performer, AKA The Rock, a loud, larger-than-life, A-star entertainer. The creation of a new character allows you to tap into a totally different mindset. It creates a psychological barrier that shields you from self-doubt. It enables you to compartmentalize your worries and problems, all the noise that distracts you. It sets it to one side so that your energy is focused on the here and now. This is why so many performers and athletes adopt alter egos. Mike Tyson became Iron Mike in the lead up to his fights. In the NFL, Greg Hardy becomes the Kraken on game day. Eminem has Slim Shady. And as Beyonce walks on stage, she transforms into Sasha Fierce. It allows you to rein in negative feelings and boost self-control. This allows you to feel more confident, which results in better performance. The internal shift creates external success. Before I let you in on hack three, I've got a quick story about the absolute masters of harnessing this hack, the military. Everyone serving in the UK forces can volunteer for parachute training as an adventurous training activity. When they first started doing it, they allowed soldiers to arrive for training in civilian clothes. Because why bother bringing a uniform when you're gonna be in a jumpsuit all week? But they found that once people got in the air, they were frequently refusing to jump. To fix that, they changed one thing. On the first day of the course, everyone had to turn up to the airfield in their military uniform. After that, Refusals dropped to almost zero. Turning up in a uniform associated with discipline and courage transformed their mindset. On operations in Afghanistan, you have to be able to go from relaxed to ready, to flick a switch that creates extreme focus. I had a sequence for doing this. On most jobs out there, we would have a helicopter insertion of one to two hours. Sat in your kit, warm jacket on, dozing to the thrum of the engine and the twin rotor blades whirring overhead. You're in a very calm state. That all changes when over your headset you hear 10 minutes to target. I would start bringing my mind from whatever I was thinking about 
stuff in the past or plans for the future and bring my focus back to the present. Five minutes out, take off my warm jacket and start physically checking off my kit. Helmet straps, magazine pouches, explosive charges, tourniquets and med kit. Three minutes out, brass check my pistol and rifle to make sure a round is loaded into the chamber. MVGs on. All other thoughts are parked. I'm mentally running through my responsibilities. Step off, turn left, move 150 meters to the north corner of the target compound. One minute out, take up position, kneeling at the rear as the tailgate lowers. Hours, taking in the sounds and smells of the night, tuning in to the atmosphere. In that moment, nothing else exists. I am completely in my performance zone. Even now, a decade later, just the smell of aviation fuel when walking out to a plane going on holiday can start to trigger that state. It reminds me of waiting by the helicopter to load up before jobs. If you watch athletes before games, many will have a ritual and routine. How they get dressed, the warm up they do, the music they listen to. It creates that performance zone. In the gym, I have set sequences I go through before my lifts. At work, I have a routine with my headphones and the music I listen to. Even making these videos, I have a build up to switch into presenting. You need triggers to put you in your own performance zone. Everyone has buttons they can push that create a particular state of mind. A certain thought that makes you angry, an outfit that makes you feel confident, a memory that makes you happy. Most people don't make a conscious connection, but when you do, this is a powerful skill to sharpen your mindset. Everything I've talked about, self-distancing, alter egos, and a performance zone. These are powerful advantages if you train them. If you're struggling with consistency in your training or anything else in life and want another powerful advantage, you can create the same Sisu mindset that Miko Salo has to combat this, then watch this video.